Hey there, just want to say first of all, thank you so much for allowing us to send you this video. Basically, I'm going to show you the three main things that Google is looking for when a search for plumbing services is made. This will help you to begin to outrank your competitors on Google and ultimately bring in those customers and that revenue from the use of your website here. So you're probably wondering why am I making this a free video for you? Well, as I know, um, small, I'm also a small business owner and I've learned that most small business owners are just too busy taking care of their customers that they don't have time to learn how to do this. They don't have time to learn how to make the internet um, and the use of their website bring them more customers. And so also the main thing stopping them from hiring someone is that they just don't know who the expert is and who's not. So I found that when I'm able to create these informative videos and give them away for free, a lot of business owners will take what I have shared with them here and do it themselves, which is totally fine. You can do that. Uh, but some will call me back and have me do it for them. So whatever you want to do is totally cool with me, although I'd love to be the expert for you and help you. I just want to help in whatever way I can. So anyway, uh, in this video, I'm going to talk about the three main things involved with search engine optimization, or we call SEO. These are content, backlinks, and citations. Implementing these three components will be what gets you those potential customers to your site. First thing we need to do is make sure you have a lot of content. The average website that ends up on the first page of Google here should have about 1,500 to 2,000 words of content. This is all of your text, your titles, and what your images are saved as. Once you get more content than your competitor, you will blow them out of the water. Uh, within the content, you want to make sure that you have buyer intent search terms or keywords. A keyword is just a, a phrase someone types into Google. Buyer intent means they need the service and they're not just wanting to look at an image or learn about something. So if I search for a plumber, It looks like you have the word plumber once, okay? You'll want to have it at least three or four times, even up to six times. Plumber and definitely you don't have plumber San Bernardino, okay? So this would be a buyer intent keyword and, it, and, and uh, you definitely would want to add that to your content a couple of times. Um, you can also save the titles and the descriptions of your pages and your images keywords. It will all help you rank. So your content is number one. Number two would be backlinks. A backlink is when your uh, when another website is linking to your website, driving traffic to you. This is really important. And Google ranks your value on the authority those other websites give you. Google wants to see a bunch of trustworthy companies vouching for your company, but keep in mind they they want to see relevant links, which means it will give you a lot more power if you have something related to plumbing linking to you rather than say a pizza hut linking to you. So the tool that I use to see how websites are ranking in Google is called Arefs, and I already put your information in there. Currently you have 43 websites linking to you giving power to 142 backlinks or links back to your site. Now your top competitor um, in the San Bernardino area has 104 websites with over a thousand backlinks. So what you need to do is copy them. If the websites that, that are linking to them are good enough to get them to the top, then they are good enough for you. Just visit all 104 websites and put a link or a few on each of them that links back to your home page or one of your service pages. Most of the time you can just create a profile and add a link in the profile or put a comment somewhere. So then if you add your URL fsplumbingservice.com to these other websites um, that that your competitor has and add the necessary content and more relevant backlinks. This is how you will beat your competitor on Google search organically. So these are the search results for plumbing service in San Bernardino. If you want to beat your competitor with ads, these are ads. 
then you'll need to bid higher than your competitor. And if you want to be at the top of the Google Maps section, right here, then you'll need to have more citations than your competitor. And a citation is anywhere where your business's name, address, and phone number is listed in different directories. A direct directory is a website like Yelp, Yext, Yellow Pages, White Pages, Facebook, and Angie's List that allows you to list this information. So just find out where your competitors are listed, like these top three, and add your business's information to more directories than they have. If they're listed in 150 directories, you should be listed in 300. So this is just a quick overview. I hope you found it helpful and informative. I tried to keep it short and to the point. Um, as a quick recap, you'll want to have about 1,500 to 2,000 words of content on your home page here. You want to have more websites linking to you than your competitor. And you want to put your business's name, address, and phone number in more directories than your top searched competitor. Uh, if you follow these tips, this is how you will become number one across the top of the search engine results of Google. And I recommend you get started as soon as possible. It does take some time to implement all of these changes. And the sooner you get started, the sooner you will start profiting from your website. If you have any questions or you would just rather have someone else handle this for you while you keep running your business, please feel free to give me a call. My number is at the bottom of the email. And if I'm not already working with a plumber in San Bernardino, then I would be more than happy to help you out. All I ask is that you give me some feedback as to what you thought of this video. And I thank you so much. I look forward to hearing from you.